Welcome aboard, flight crew, to another Star Wars unboxing on Always Believe. Ashley, are you playing Disney Emoji Blitz again? <laughs> no, no, I'm here for the flight crew. You're here for the I'm flight here. crew. I'm okay. here. We have Star Wars stuff Star Wars to show stuff. the flight crew. Yeah. Star Wars. So if you're new to Always Believe, welcome aboard. We do monthly Star Wars unboxing. Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded it like, like your Star nephew. Wars. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounded like a little New Yorker too. Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> we do monthly Star Wars unboxings. <laughs> <laughs> So we are also giving away a legacy lightsaber to a lucky flight crew member, and it's a legacy lightsaber of your choice. We know a lot of you can't go to Galaxy's Edge, you can't buy your own legacy lightsaber, so we love giving you that opportunity to have something fun that you can take home. But you'll have to stick around for a parsec to find out more about it. But before we get started today, we have to thank Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video. And you can download the game for free in the link below. I was so excited that Disney Emoji Blitz reached out to us to help sponsor this video. So if you're unfamiliar with Disney Emoji Blitz, it is a match three game that you can play on your phone. And I am obsessed with match three games because they really help my busy, busy brain. But this one is different than any other match three game because you get to play with Disney Emoji characters. And not only do they have Disney and Pixar characters, but they have a ton of Star Wars characters that you can collect from the Mandalorian, you can get Princess Leia, you can get Chewbacca. Is that good? <laughs> so one of the reasons the game is so much fun is because they're constantly updating with new emoji characters and different categories like silver and gold and rainbow exclusive and they also come out with Disney villains. Ooh, Disney <laughs> villains. Who would your Disney villain be? I would pick Maleficent. I would be Captain Hook the Codfish. <laughs> so I'm always finding myself going to the game like first thing in the morning with my cup of coffee or right after work to distress and it's because it really gives me those like really happy Disney feels and usually at the time when I need them the most. So you had never played a match three game before. No, but it was actually really easy to learn how to play. But what's really fun about playing this game is as you play, you unlock new Disney emojis that have their own special power-ups and you can use those power-ups within the game to like do all these crazy fun moves. So my personal favorite emoji to use is Mickey Mouse because his level up is kind of like the end of the Phantasmic Parade where he comes in to ease all of your worries with fireworks and stars and a smile. <laughs> <laughs> and one of my favorite things is that every time you earn a new character emoji in the game, you can actually use that emoji in chat. Like I can text you emoji characters. Yeah, we're pretty much only speaking in Disney emojis from now on. But the cool <laughs> thing is it's a little bit of a bragging right because I get to show Brian all the new Disney emojis that I've unlocked. Yeah, Ashley has way more emojis than I do. <laughs> so how many parsecs has it been? What do you mean how many parsecs has it been? Well, they want to know about the legacy lightsaber. Oh, the legacy lightsaber. I told them the weight of parsec. I know it's not a measure of time, you guys, okay? I thought it would be funny turn of phrase. Don't at me. Let's get to the legacy lightsaber <laughs> giveaway rules. So this legacy lightsaber giveaway that we're doing comes with a special mission flight crew, and your mission is as follows. Number one, download the Disney Emoji Blitz game for free using our link below. Number two, take a screenshot of when you reach level 10 in the game. And number three, DM us your screenshot of reaching level 10 on our Instagram page at Ash and Brian. And as per usual with our flight crew giveaways, we will be selecting the lucky flight crew member at random. Yes, it is the will of the force if you win. So always believe you have a chance to win a legacy lightsaber. Of, of your, your choice. choice, of your choice. Of your choice. We've never done this before. This is a very, very unique opportunity for you to get exactly the legacy lightsaber that you want to get from Galaxy's Edge. The link below to download Disney Emoji Blitz is our creator code for always believe. So anything that you spend in the game. Like spending money on lives, which is what I've been doing constantly. <laughs> <laughs> it helps support our channel and it helps us do more giveaways like this so we can continue to give away lightsabers and all the other fun things that we like to get from Galaxy's Edge, from all of our trips to share with you, to share that fun. Because that's what we're all about here on Always Believe, playing and having fun with you guys. Yes, so if you download the game, use the link below to link to our creator code and it really helps Always Believe. We challenge you, Flight Crew. Get to level 10. <laughs> Win that lightsaber. It is yours. This is your destiny. <laughs> but now the real reason you're here, Flight Crew. Unboxing some fun Star Wars stuff that we bought this past month. So this is a lamp that was from the Star Wars Celebration Store. Um, I've been waiting months for this thing, so I am really excited to check it out. Um, you see like the little Star Wars Celebration logo right there. We were all intending to go to Star Wars Celebration last year and it got canceled, but they did open their store so you could buy a bunch of the cool exclusive merchandise that was gonna be available. Can you guess what this is, Flight Crew? You won't guess. It's a lamp. <laughs> this Cloud City as a lamp. Yeah. I love unique lamps. I love lamp. 
I love lamp. I love lamp! <laughs> this is beautiful. I love it. Yeah, again, we love stuff that kind of just blends into your, your home as like fun Star Wars things. That was nice. Actually a very expensive lamp. This was like 70, 75 bucks or something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's mostly plastic, but I mean, it's really cool. Plastic. It's plastic. You can see on the top the entire city of Cloud City, and it's got all the details. It's it's really cool looking. It's a fun, stylish piece to add to your uh, Star Wars home decor. Come into my boudoir. <laughs> Did you hear that? They shut down the main reactor. We'll be destroyed for sure. This is madness. <laughs> I like it. I like, like it, a it a lot. lot. I like it a lot. We talk about it all the time, but Ashley and I love the movie Solo, and we want to buy anything related to the movie Solo. Anything, anything. Anything. There was a pre-order a couple months ago from Mondo, who makes really awesome movie posters. I have a couple Mondo posters here in the studio. She's so aggressive. <laughs> that wasn't even a clean pull. It wasn't a clean pull. I couldn't do it. It's just glue and paper. It's Come just on. Glue and paper. <laughs> so we saw this pop up on the Mondo website and just had to buy this collectible edition Mondo poster and also record. Look at them screaming. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> This is also a record of all the music from Solo, from John Williams theme to all the music that John Powell did. John Powell did such an epic job on the Solo album. Oh I, it's gosh. actually one of my favorite albums from the Star Wars universe, because it's so different. When I tell people that John Williams didn't write the entire Solo album, they're just like, what? what? <laughs> I really love, I think it's Flying with Chewie and That's Han Solo. That's my favorite one. It's the moment in Solo, right after they took their shower together, and you're flying over the mountains. Da, da, da. It's very magical. It's even cooler, you can remove it. You can remove them from the flight cockpit. Whoa. There's so much artwork in here. And this oh, is, yes. This is what's cool about records, that we've gotten into collecting vinyls a bit more. It's just the artwork that you used to be able to have in a vinyl record that you just don't get anymore. I want to look at it. Oh, look at you and me. Oh. oh I'm going to throw a thermal detonator. <laughs> Where's your blaster? It is on my belt. <laughs> That's so fun. I love the color scheme a lot too. I really love that they retain like the yellow and orange. They add some pinks and purples. That pink, that fun extra flair. Cause that's what Solo was really all about that we loved about it. It was just so much fun. It's a great it's a movie. great movie. So many people love it so much. The, the backside of the album, when you remove it, the inside also has that same shot. So it's like a fun transition. Pretty awesome. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow. It's hyperspace. So pretty. So this was like part of the limited edition option. You could get the cool painted album. Oh, it's the window. This version of the record has the window and another shot from the window of the Maw is about to jump through. And what does yours have? It's got the dice. Oh, that's the Quaxium, I think, on the other side. Is that what that crystal is? Oh, well, now instead of having Solo constantly playing on the TV, we'll have Solo constantly playing on the record player, huh, Brian? Exactly, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great job, Mondo. Great job, John Powell. Ooh, Emphis Nest. So we were just putting everything away and we just realized there was another piece inside that has Emphis Nest. So the Mandalorian has been over for a while, but um, I'm not over it. No. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm still craving more child uh, merchandise. I need more. I need more. So as we're going back out into the world, uh, as things are starting to open again, I realize I didn't have a makeup bag anymore. I was like not used to bringing a makeup bag in yeah. my purse. <laughs> I got some new makeup bags and these were on Amazon. And oh my gosh, are they not the cutest things. They look like they're almost like painted. Like a straight up medium size and then like a large size and they're both perfect. They both hold a lot and they're really affordable. We got them on Amazon so we'll put a link in the description below for you guys. If you guys watch our Star Wars Trading Outpost video you saw that I picked up this child beanie which came in super handy when it got freezing cold at night like it dropped so quickly yeah. when we were there i was like thank god i got that <laughs> one beanie it's so adorable and honestly we can never have enough star wars beanies yeah and the other thing we got was the mythosaur skull uh pin they actually only had like one of these left on the wall when i picked it out oh it was wow like, mine if you want to do like a mandalorian bound like you need one of these. Yeah, that's one of the easy things to do. Like we saw with a bunch of our bounds, we just put like a, a fun pin or maybe a little something like that as official pieces like to, subtle, to emphasize. A subtle hint. Yeah. A little bit of, this is me. 
Just in case you're like, what are you dressed as? Who are you? Look at the skull, man. Look at the skull. Look man. at the skull. If you're not a real Star Wars fan, you would know what that is. If you watch Mandalorian. No such thing as a real Star Wars That's fan. That's true. Get some soap and water. Scrub your mouth out right now. I'll be right back. There is no such thing as a real Star Wars fan. You're a Star Wars fan or you're not a Star Wars fan. The end. Oh, that was so gross. I'm never doing that again. I'm never saying real Star Wars fans again. <laughs> Ashley's right. You're a Star Wars fan or you're not a Star Wars fan. Don't let anybody tell you differently. You love Star Wars for the reasons you love Star Wars and other people love Star Wars for other reasons. And that's where we can have a good Star Wars community. These are the things that Ashley and I love buying and sharing and we love sharing them with you because we're just all about the fun and positivity of Star Wars and not all the negativity that so many people like to perpetuate online. And it's a reason for us to buy more Star Wars things. It is a reason. I mean, be honest, Brian. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime we're like shopping for things and, and we're like, oh, but it's Star Wars, we could use it for the whole video. It's your fault, Flight Crew. We like showing you guys this stuff. <laughs> we could use it for the whole video. So it's not a Star Wars haul without heroes and villains. I can't help it. I love heroes and villains gear. Mm -hmm. I just can't avoid wanting to buy more stuff. And I really loved my beanie that I got from mm -hmm. them recently. I wear it all the time. I was like, you're gonna wear it out. But we got some new ones. So <laughs> we got three new Star Wars beanies. This one I want for me. Yes. So Ashley already had this beanie, but I didn't want to stretch it out on her. So I bought one oh, for myself. so nice. They also have this other Rebel Alliance one that had this fun striping to it. So I said, why not? This looks really cool too. I like for this bounding. one too. And it's softer. The other ones are like nice. They're structured and they're pretty like they're pretty thick. Yeah. So it's definitely gonna keep your head warm. They're not like those like super thin, scrappy beanies that like actually don't do anything. Like okay. Southern California beanies. Yeah. I still wear these in Southern California yeah. all the time. A lot of you have been asking us how is the quality of these beanies and like Ashley said, they're really really well made. Mm -hmm. um, they're super thick. Like look yeah. at this. Look at look at that. That's a good quality beanie. Yeah. And they hold their stretch well too. So we got a Rebel Alliance one and we got the Imperial beanie. I just, you know, why not? You never know when you want to bound as an Imperial and infiltrate a base for some Rebel reasons. <laughs> but Ashley apparently is going to steal that one. <laughs> I'm going to mess with my hair. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm about to infiltrate you. <laughs> I'm about to infiltrate this ship. I look like that little, okay, do you know that that character? So on the PlayStation, it came with like a sample game. Ain't that dog with the beanie that wraps? Yeah. I feel like that guy. I never realized you looked like that guy until you put that beanie Right? I think it's that in the pigtails. But I also saw this hat and I'd been eyeing it for a little while. An embroidered Imperial logo and Star Wars logo on the back too. And it's just so themed and it's such a bound perfect hat. It's a Imperial officer hat, but as like a, a baseball cap. But it's a baseball cap. It's a baseball cap. So what's your team called? What would my baseball team be called? The bad guys. The bad guys. <laughs> that works. Uh, it's very fitted. It fits really well. I have a lot of hair, so it's a little tighter. What does this end. button do? Oh, no. What is the purpose? Can you unlock things with your forehead? Yeah. We're still in a pandemic, you guys. Yeah, you still got to wear a mask, especially when you're going to Disney. Heroes and Villains just put out these masks on their website. So there's a Rebel Alliance one, which has some Arabesh on the side. And the Imperial one's really cool. It's got the Imperial lights on the side and some arabesque on the side as well. The straps are these kinds of straps where you can adjust the little piece. Guess what? Guess what? No, I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> All it took was your mask. <laughs> Another fun way to bound currently while you have to wear a mask. And if you guys want to pick up some Heroes and Villains merch, they have a discount code that they created for you, Fly Crew. It's AB15, and you can get 15% off your entire order but it only works one time, so use it wisely. Get all the fun things you want in that order so you can get a good discount on everything. So this isn't an official unboxing because we already unboxed it. I'm so sorry, Flight Crew. It is a Millennium Falcon Waffle Maker. You've been eyeing this for a while. We've been eyeing this. Don't pretend like I wanted well, it and I got it for you for a present, like no. a Homer Simpson bowling <laughs> ball situation. Now, it might look like a normal Waffle Maker on the outside, Flight Crew, but it's not a normal Waffle Maker. It makes you Millennium Falcon waffles. It also has the Rebel Alliance symbol, and it's fun. Ow! Ow! You Don't close me? it on your finger, Thank though. Goodness, it's not on. 
<laughs> but what's really cool is like um we had waffles and strawberries and then we cut the strawberry up to be like a circle and then stuck it onto a toothpick to make yeah. it the satellite dish it's just a fun way to make breakfast a little more fun and a little more fantastical especially if you have little ones who are star wars fans mm. in your home or if you're just a star wars fan like i am and yeah. ashley is so hey, kids have no choice <laughs> and it actually made really good waffles i like had low expectations like i'm like it's gonna look cool but they might not like taste the best mm -hmm. they might not be the best quality but they were actually really delicious really good waffles highly recommend so this next piece is something that i meant to have for our last unboxing but it literally went on a journey. It came- <laughs> It went on quite the journey. It came from Florida. It came to California. Somehow it went to New Jersey. I think it then went to Tunisia, where Luke lives. And then it came all the way back here to California. It took so long and I didn't think I was actually gonna get it. But it's finally here. Finally show you. <laughs> any guesses, any guesses, Flight Crew? Oh my gosh, that's so aggressive. Was, this is one of the Tupperware containers that they used in Lars Homestead for, for pouring the blue milk in A New Hope. I feel like it's just a lot smaller than I remembered. Does it seem smaller to you? Yeah, it does look pretty tiny, right? but I don't know. Uh, one of our flight crew members had actually recommended, he's like, hey, if you guys love your blue milk, you should get some of these Tupperware containers because these are what they used. So like, are you gonna bring this to Galaxy's Edge? Just tell him put it straight into my, I Just brought my own put it cup. put straight into my cup. <laughs> I guess I, I can do that. I brought my own cup from Tatooine. I think actually like in the movie, it's mostly like, I think it's just yeah, empty right? like this. So it would be just like a drinking cup like this. I think this is what Luke basically used. It may, maybe it's bigger It might the be the drinking cup. I feel like yeah. it was bigger in the movie. He's got a big one that he yeah, pours. Yeah, the big one he pours. I remember these edges. Yeah. It's from, it's by Tupperware. It says Tupperware on the bottom. My mom had some Tupperware cups like this, but they were brown. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when I saw it in the movie, I was like, oh, it's like what my mom has, only it's yeah. not brown, it's clear. And again, that's what we love, and like when we go antique shopping, or, or we're always shopping, we're always just looking for things that look like Star Wars things. And again, that's what they did for Star Wars. They just found random things that looked like it could be in another galaxy far, far away. Take the lid off. Just take the lid off. <laughs> there, it's from a different planet. I've also been reading a lot of the new Star Wars comic books. I picked up a bunch of the tradebacks recently when we were at Universal Studios. I got a Kylo Ren book, which kind of explains the origin of Kylo Ren and how he came to be. This edition is with Donald Glover. This one was called Rogues and Rebels, and again, the cover was just so awesome looking. These comics are great because they kind of fill in a lot of the storylines that don't get explained well in the movies, and some of the sequels <gasps> oh had those gosh. issues. Oh, wow, what'd you find? I'm not telling you. Oh, we gotta read. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're interested in any of these comics, we'll put links from below if you guys want to check them out as well. We got two really great Star Wars books. This one is called I Love You, I Know, and it's Lessons on Love and Friendship. And this one is called The Jedi Mind, which has a lot of great wisdom from Star Wars and they're really like helpful guidebooks that you can read. I hate you, I know. Keep competition <laughs> friendly. I love that one. <laughs> I hate you, I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of always trying to emphasize these good lessons that you can learn from things like Star Wars or just all these geeky things that we love. And this book is kind of very focused on that, which is what I really loved about it and why it resonated with me. You can't oh. save everyone. You are my brother. Oh, oh. no. Oh. Under the chapter called It's Complicated. I love you. I know. I love you too. Wait, oh my what? Gosh, if you said I know. <laughs> Actually, you said I love you first. I did say I love you first. I didn't say I know. I, went, I love you? I love Question you. mark? <laughs> <laughs> I love you? So the Jedi Mind is an accessible guide with quotes and lessons from the Jedi. And it's literally like a guidebook for how to kind of live your life as a Jedi and how to be focused and kind of one with the force. Like kind of add some Star Wars to your daily meditations. That's what's great about Star Wars. That's why it resonates with so many people is there's actual literal lessons and things to be learned from it. It's not just the visuals and the action scenes that we love about Star Wars. It's the actual heart and message that's in Star Wars. And like I'm always saying, <laughs> always believe came from Star Wars from Yoda's message in The Empire Strikes Back. I don't, I don't believe it. That is why you fail. Okay, Qui-Gon just like slowly sipping his drink. <laughs> Is it to be mindful? Yeah, and it enjoy says like, be here now. Be here now. Because <laughs> you won't be here tomorrow. Oh. oh, that was too soon, Ashley Olsen. <laughs> so I've been learning about this. It's called forest bathing. I want to go forest bathing somewhere. Yeah, I live tomorrow. like an Ewok. Again, if you guys want to pick up these books, we'll put it in the links below so you can check them out. 
Thank you again, Flight Crew, for joining us for this monthly Star Wars unboxing. We're gonna keep doing these. We're gonna keep buying more fun Star Wars collectibles to share with you because mm -hmm. we love Star Wars. We love to do it. We love to do it. <laughs> we also want to thank Disney Emoji Blitz again for sponsoring this video. And if you guys want to check out the game, you can download it again for free with our link below. It will help out the channel so much, and you can win a legacy lightsaber of your choice. Of your choice. Of your choice. Like and subscribe for the video so we can keep doing more. Here's some ASMR. ASMR. Star Wars ASMR. ASMR. Oh, hey, thank you want to like and like and subscribe? <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible ASMR. It's me struggling to breathe. <laughs> we had fun with you, Fly Crew. We'll see you next time on Always Believe for more Star Wars unboxings and go watch these other ones while you're waiting. They're a lot of fun. Are they here? They should be over here. Are they here? More Star Wars unboxings over here. These ones are fun. I actually got a lightsaber in this one. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Bye, Flight Crew.